Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a bathroom, a luxury bathroom in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let me tell you simultaneously the other tutorials of one is interior and a horse and stadium all will be going parallelly with it. So let's get started. So very first of all let's go into rendering view image file. I'll just take up a reference over here. So this tutorial is on viewers request. So we'll be modeling this. So very first of all let's just take a plane over here. Go to the top view. And go into AC extended. Let's take a wall. Press S. I can just snap it like this and if you want you can easily close it or you can just end it in this way I'll press R and I'll slightly scale it up over here so after that what I'll be doing over here is like I'll first make this wooden cabinet over here so I'll definitely define some space for the bathroom also over here. So I'll just convert this to editable poly. I'll select the vertices, slightly shuffle it behind. I'll slightly increase it size of the plane. After that, Let's take a box over here, go into this view, front view, let's just take a box. So I'll increase its height a bit, I'll slightly shuffle it over here. So convert to editable poly. Let's go into the modeling part. Go into this and let's take a swift loop. I'll just place one swift loop over here. I'll put one swift loop at the center. Select this polygons. Select this polygons. I'll give a bit of insert by polygon and I'll click OK over here I'll slightly extrude it out and I'll click OK so once you're done let's slightly shuffle this a bit behind over here after that let's create this bottle so let's just take a cylinder Go to the top view. So I'll just reduce its height segments, reduce its radius, convert to editable poly, put one swift loop over here, select the vertices, slightly scale it. Select this edges and let's give a bit of chamfer. Select the vertices. Push it down. Select the polygons. Extrude it up. Again give a bit of inset, extrude it up, give again a swift loop, select the polygons, 
and give extrusion slightly shuffle it out So let me just save this file, I will just save it over here. So again I will go over here, put one swift loop and let's slightly shuffle it down. rotate it in this way select this edges and let's give chamfer let's click ok So I'll slightly scale it if required and let's just duplicate that so I'll scale it you should not scale it in this way all right after that you can model this wash basin over here you can just save your file so how you can model this wash basin part so you can use a spear so you can use a spear part spear over here so just take a spear over here I'll just put it in this way I'll increase its segments convert to poly select half of the polygons slightly delete it select this polygons delete it if you want you can delete this more so scale it if you want you can slightly squeeze it and let's give a shell modifier so I'll assign a shell modifier to give a bit of thickness over here like this so convert to editable poly and let's give ffd box go into this slightly shuffle this down so I'm using ffd box to shuffle it we can use the points over here into that you can go into this and you have a control points so you can adjust this using the control points over here So we are adjusting this. I'll just go over here and I'll select the wall height and slightly increase it. So I'll slightly increase the wall height over here. I'll just go over here, select this, just give a color to it. And if you want, you can also give a turbo smooth over here. You can assign a turbo smooth and convert to poly over here after that let's take a cylinder over here so I'll just draw a cylinder convert to editable poly and slightly give a bit of inset and let's just extrude it up so before this extrusion part I'll 
scale a bit select the polygons extrude it up like this and after that you can easily put one swift loops over here select the polygons extrude it in this way you can go into this and you have a local option you can scale it if required you want to scale it then you can easily scale it I'll just make it as view shuffle it a bit up again put one swift loop extrude it by local normal click ok take again a swift loop over here and you can adjust it if you want to adjust this tap style you can do that no that's okay I can again go over here I'll just take a line over here I'll just put one line on top of it I'll shuffle this line over here and let's give enable in viewport So save your file again over here. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So we have started up with this particular modeling of this particular luxurious bathroom over here. So we will be continuing the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So stay tuned for more tutorials on KO tutorials. So if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial.